All right, I need you guys to tell me in the comments below, is this kind of framing normal? Like just having lumber braced up like this on a, not even an exist, a supporting wall. The interior wall's farther back than that right there. Just got a, like a little rafter coming down to nothing. There's valley here with nothing. There's weird cut wood. There's a flappy piece of wood. No valley, beam, ridge. Holes. I mean, just the way it's built has really got me baffled. All right, so real quick. Typically, I'll look up under an edge of a shingle, um, edge of gable end, bottom edge, edge metal, lift it up, and get an idea if it's one bias, plywood, CDX, OSB, whatever, to get an accurate estimate. You want to get an accurate estimate so they don't just throw it to the wayside. You don't want to surprise them after you get an attractive estimate and surprise them with a big bill, hurt your reputation. You want to go into it knowing what all you're getting into, the scope of the work, figure it accurately. That's what we're doing in here. The bottom edge was a multiple layer roof. They took a plastic gutter guard and ran it in between the two layers and shot it down and it's hooked to the gutter so I can't easily get in there and look under there so I opted to get into an easy attic access here in the garage and that's what we're seeing here so I don't build homes I've never framed homes that's why I want your guys opinion I'll pan around a little bit and see if this is a normal construction build or not so as I showed off in the very beginning this little beam here the chimney there's a valley that comes down right here but typically I've always seen some lumber going down the valley and it's all built or supported on it. If not, usually you have a rafters going down, structurally sound and solid, resting on supporting walls, exterior walls, interior walls. And then you would have some lumber maybe going down the valley and it come over and intersect with it. But I don't see any of that here. Like, for example, this right here. That ridge, that hip, I'm sorry, not hip, that ridge beam right there. It's rafter built, but there's no supporting structure to it, nothing. That's why it's shifting and sagging down under its own weight. There's visqueen up here in different areas, like it's been catching water, dirty debris area there. And there's another piece of visqueen down this valley here, signs of water over time leaking in. Definitely not looking good. And just, to me, this doesn't look like a normal build. Nothing seems to be supported over a supporting wall. I mean, I don't normally see stuff like this, which... That's a good indication right there that, yep, it is 3 8 plywood. By the time you take off multiple layers and you get into this, is it splintered, delaminating, rotten? Because your body weight kind of disperses over a wider surface area with multiple layers, so it's really deceiving. So I'm probably going to put a line item that they may need some decking, possible resheet, worst case scenario. It's a little low slope. There are a couple cross beams. There's not many. I just wanted you guys to see this valley structure, this way it's framed and built. Let me know if it is indeed normal or not. People here just bought the house recently and trying to get things fixed up in it, so I don't know any of the history on it. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> As I saying go, I did say it, a Holiday Inn Express. Nah, just common sense. This doesn't look structurally correct, I should say. All right. So the moral of the story, if you're an estimator, do what you can to verify the roof decking because if you walk a roof and it feels solid, yes, it could be one by, it could be solid, but you don't know if it's splintered, gapped, cracked, whatever the case may be, and then need to surprise your customer with all new decking. So it doesn't take but a few extra minutes here to visually look if you can get into it. Not always the case, but in this one, I couldn't get under the bottom edge. And it unveiled or revealed these uh, building, so... Let me know, comment down below if you're a framer, what your experience is, if this is correct or not, and to be concerning. As always, until next time, be safe. We'll see you then.